Buddy, what's up? What's up? Let's go live here. Hmm. We need to go live there. What's going on with that? All right. There we go. All right. Instagram live and YouTube live. Wow. Imagine that technology. How are you guys? Hey, another guy, 881. What's up, brother? I'd love to join, but I've got family visiting tonight. I might get some time on. Let's get you on here. During the stream. Well, awesome. Uh, I've got a special guest. Of course, Stephen Cavallaris from electricaltime.com is going to be on live. We're going to ask him any code questions you want. He hates going live. I love going live. I don't know. They call me the one take wonder. Uh, well, they used to. All the creators that used to like me. A lot of creators don't like me anymore, but that's a long story. Sometimes when you fight hard, you fight for them and, you know, other brands and stuff. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. I'm I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm supposed to be a nice guy this year, so I'm a nice guy. Hey, welcome coming into the live stream. Um, I'm going to do the Q&As on Instagram. I hope I can do it over here on this side. I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. I'm, I'm hoping I'm live. Here, here we go. There we go. All right. So now we're talking. Ooh, this is going to be fun. I've got Instagram and I've got YouTube side by side. So what's up, Instagram? Uh, hey, Emmanuel Gomez, good to see you. Jeff Alfonso, good to see you. Dylan, good to see you. Man, I appreciate you guys. Hey, welcome to the Electrical Contractor channel. That means if you're an electrician watching this right now, the dream usually is to become an electrical contractor. And that's what this channel is all about. I get some flack for it all the time. Yeah, right. Number one YouTube channel for electrical contractors. Hey, listen, I would love to share the stage. The more information you guys get to help you level up, to help you make money, to help you start your business, and to put food on your table. That's what I'm knocking on right over here. To put food on your table is good for me. I don't care if 100 people do it. I don't care if I'm the only one that does it. The only thing I say is, though, if someone's preaching and teaching you and telling you what to do in business... If, they're, if they just open the door, they can give you some good advice how they got there. Just, you know, it's a little tough to get advice from um, creators that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers but don't have 10 years into the business. Does that make sense? Smash like, comment down below. Tell me what you think about that. The journey is super important for your growth. But when you're really going to put trust in someone or something, I go to the best of the best. I go to Stephen Cavallaris. I go to Ryan Jackson. I go to Mike Holt if I want to learn code. I don't go to the electrician that's, you know, a year into business that just took his test or her test. I'm not knocking him, but that's not where I go for code. So this is where you go if you want to level up in paperwork. Oh, Jeff, you're just trying to sell something again. No, I'm not. If you can get it somewhere else for free, get it. I'm trying to sell you an investment, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about a lot of other cool stuff. But first and foremost, we're talking about you guys. So Sam, what's up? Let's get you on the stream. Coming over here on Instagram, uh, Colton, good to see you. GTR, good to see you. Uh, all of you guys coming in, I appreciate you. Start sh shooting away. It is Q&A Thursday night. I got a couple of uh, minutes, maybe 20 minutes before the wife comes. So, of course, I'm going to shoot some stuff on the screen. You guys can see it. I'm sorry about that uh, if it's bothering you. But those are my little banners that are running across. Let me get that one off. And what I do want to show you guys right now, by the way, Steven Cavallaris from electricaltime.com is coming on. I hope he got the invite. He usually comes on with me. If he doesn't come on, make sure you go over there and you sign up for his code classes. A lot of high profile people are taking it right now. He's his private classes. He's got me and a couple other creators. Well, you know, one of that I know of in his courses and uh, a lot of my guys are as well. So what I want to tell you right now, though, is to right there. Head over to my website, 360electrician.com and sign up for my email list. If you guys didn't get the email from today, is that even showing up? Let me see. Yep, join the email list. If you guys did not get the email for today, I signed up, I hooked up, I partnered with batteryevo.com, batteryevo.com. Guess what we're going to do? If you've ever done generators, you've wanted to do generators and you're like, eh, I don't know, you know, a lot of places when you do generators, you got to have the cement pad, you got to have the gas pipe come in, you got to buy the generator, you know, got to hook it in, there's maintenance, they're starting, there's this, there's that. And then two years from now, you know, they have a problem and the generator doesn't start, et cetera, et cetera. 
BatteryEvo.com, the, the alternative to gas and propane generators is Battery Evo. Here's the kicker. You don't even need to do solar with it, but if you do do solar with it, it just levels you up even further. If you live in an area, and I know as an electrician, you're probably not going to understand what I'm about to say. It's called time of use, T-O-U. Time of use means that when your clients or you get power at peak demand, you're paying 25 cents a kilowatt for it. New York, you know what I'm talking about. At night or an off peak, when nobody's using electricity, they literally charge you like five cents. Batteryevo.com is going to allow you without solar to charge the battery when it's five cents and discharge it, meaning use it when they're charging you 25 cents. That's called time of use. And you're basically going to pay for the battery by not having to pay the 25 cents. There's a 20 cents difference per kilowatt. And what that does is it brings ROI, return on investment, to your clients. You see how we're going to pitch it? You see how we're going to sell it? And uh, and they have battery backup in the in-between. You're making a six, seven, eight thousand dollars profit off this. Ten, twelve thousand if you want to throw in some solar. It's a game changer. The way you're going to do that is you're going to go to batteryevo.com. Actually, what am I talking about? You're going to click the links on the description down below because if you don't use my link, you don't get the discounts, the free training, and all the promotions that me and Battery Evo are giving you. You can go over there and make sure when you sign up, what we want to do is make you an affiliate of Battery Evo and, and give you a territory. Sooner or later, we're going to give you territory. And I've got some exclusive deals going on with them that it's for you, not for me. I actually make nothing off of it if you sign up. Now, what did I make out of it? Yeah, sure. They sent me a, bar a battery, a walrus. Hey, that's a pretty good product, isn't it? But you know me, I don't do it for the money. I make my money on my brick and mortar. I make my money elsewhere on my courses, on my coaching. My goal is to hook up with companies to help you level up. And therefore, you'll come back for the professional growth advice that you're looking for. So let's take a look at some questions. I'm rambling way too much when this is about you guys, not about me. Let's see what we got going on. Instagram, Ray Tan, K Volts, good to see you. Sparky, Mark, good to see you. Uh, 23 from Ambro. You know, I, unfortunately on Instagram, I can't post your comments. I don't think I can. And I'm not that good. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can see them, but I cannot. So hopefully bring your comments, bring your questions. I'm going to answer every single thing that comes through. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Don't forget, click the links below and subscribe and join the channel. Join the channel. You get membership perks. Uh, we are going to come online and start doing group calls again. I don't know where Steve Cavalleris is. Let me see if I can text him. He was actually on the phone or texting Ryan Jackson, both code gurus, both guys that I go to when I need to learn the code. All right. Uh, Creo's Electric. Hey, boss. I, uh, I'm student yet. How can I get the C10? I'm student yet. I am a student or I'm not a student yet. How can I get a C10? Well, obviously, to get a C10, he's talking about California contractor's license, C10. It's an unlimited license that allows you to do anything from zero to 600 volts for any dollar amount. California does have a cool licensing. To do that, um, you got to have a minimum four years and become a journeyman. Now, the rules have changed since I've got my license in California. There is a creator that just got his. Unfortunately, he's ghosting me, doesn't like me. He's a hero. We, I love him. Doesn't, I don't think he loves me anymore. He just got his license. He'd be a great person I would be talking to and ask him, but he's not friends of the channel, it seems, anymore, and there's nothing I can do about that. But I will ask somebody else that's taking the test for you guys. Uh, I think NME Electric's going to be taking the test. I'll ask one of them if it's four years as a journeyman, and then you have to have four more years. I doubt it, but I know there's been some rule changes. All right, so let's get over here to YouTube. Roberto, what's up, brother? Uh, what is the most likely cause for people getting shocked while in the shower or using the sink? And what's the fix? Okay, well, plain and simple, you should never be getting shocked while you're in the shower or from the sink. It sounds like you have what Steve would call, and I wish he was here, um, uh, questionable, 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 boy, questionable uh, grounding. Maybe somebody has tied a neutral to a ground wire, use the ground wire as a neutral, which is a big no-no. And if that's touching the water pipe or getting anywhere where there's some current flowing, might not be voltage, but there's some current flowing. It'd be a little bit probably, but that's probably what it is. Honestly, 
you shouldn't be getting anything. Now, what I would probably do is GFI and arc fault breakers. Those will definitely let you know if you have an issue. That's probably one good way to do it. So I hope that answered your question. Uh, good to see you guys over on YouTube and going back to Instagram. So if I jump back and forth and I take the, if I take the uh, hello out and now you don't see anything, it means I'm responding on Instagram. Okay. What is the best way to quote residential products? I am so glad you asked. That's from Ca uh, Cost Control STD. I just got off a coaching call today. I do about one to four coaching calls a week. My number one question is how to bid electrical jobs. I only, I, I'm careful when I say only, only is 99%, okay? I literally only bid fixed contract pricing, okay? Fixed contract pricing. That means if you call me and I go to your house and it's a residential job, let's just say a remodel, you want four recessed lights, ceiling fan, and a, and a sub panel replacement. I will look at that job. You and I know based on experience that that is a, you know, with a sub panel, four recessed lights, and a ceiling fan. A lot of you guys are a lot faster than my old fart butt is. So let's just say it's a day and a half for two guys. I already know, let's just say my daily labor rate's $1,000. It's more than that. So don't freak out. Let's just say my daily labor rate is $1,000. Now in coaching, we actually go line by line. We do five line items and we ABC a couple of them. So you completely 100% understand how to cost and price jobs. Dude, we are we're not talking an Excel sheet. You and I are electricians. We're great at the trade. We suck at business, okay? We are not uh, uh, accountants, okay? We are not CFOs, chief financial officers. We are electricians. We want to do the work and we want to know we made money. So I make that super easy in coaching and I just crush everything you've got into a one-hour session based on you, not me, not anybody else, based on you, your location, your appetite, whether you have vehicles, employees, warehouse, whatever your exact situation is, we go line by line, super easy, under five line items. We repeat number six, uh, number two, which is number six, but I don't count that because it's the same thing, but we repeat it. There's a reason for that. And once you understand what your daily labor rate is, you walk into a project, two guys, day and a half. If it's $1,000, 1500 you're done. In less than 10 minutes, you know what your labor rate is. And because we coach together, you know you're making money. The only thing you need to do is sell work. That's what I want you to level up on. I don't want you to level up on, oh, how much is this going to cost? I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to have to write an email and then I'm going to get to send it. By then, that customer is gone. See ya. Jeff's already got them from you. Okay. What you want to do is right there on the spot, part of it's my paperwork, part of it is Jobber. Hey, let's give away Jobber tonight, okay? Anybody that signs up for the free trial, signs up for the free trial during this live stream, I'll do a pause. Anybody that signs up for the free trial is going to get the Jobber shirt and the Jobber hat. The Jobber shirt is an extra large, okay? That's going to go to a winner, whoever signs up using my link. So if you're on Instagram, I hate to say it, you're going to have to copy it because there's no clickable. On YouTube, just go down and click on the link. Whoever signs up today and lets me know you're going to be eligible. I'm going to send you out the, the shirt from Jobber. Thank you, Jobber, obviously, for sending it. They sent me some other stuff in here, but I think I already either drank the coffee and I think I'm already, I'm already reading the book. They sent me a really good book over here as well. Okay, so check it out. You got your fixed contract price for the day or for your daily labor rate. Day and a half, if it's a thousand, 1,500. Six days, 6,000. Six and a half days, 6,500. Two and a half days, 2,500. You see how fast that is? You know from your experience how much time the job is going to take. Let's put it this way electrical contractors, I'm speaking to you. And I'm going to pause because I speak really fast. I'm going to pause. Smash like if you get anything out of this channel. First of all, because it helps the algorithm. I want to break some records tonight. If you are just coming in on Instagram, there's a bunch of you guys in here. Smash follow. I want to break some records tonight. And you're helping me do it. And I'm giving you everything in this brain for free tonight. Okay? So if you appreciate it, hit it up. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying how to do it. I'm saying this is the way I do it. And this is what I've done wrong. And if you learn from that, amen. Okay. So a lot of you guys are going in. You need to get a, you need to have paperwork. You need to have jobber. You need to 
give the quote on the spot before you leave. So you go in and you see it's a day and a half job. So you already know that your labor is 1,500. You already took a look, that sub panel, the breakers, the four recessed lights, the ceiling fan box, they're supplying the ceiling fan. You've got a total with wire of 600. I don't put 20%. I round that up to probably $1,000. Sometimes I'll double it. Sometimes I won't. I leave that up to you and your comfort level because you have to have a little bit of room to go up and then give discounts and stuff that we definitely talk about in coaching. So if it was 600 and I know it was 1,500 for labor, of course, I would go 2,190. But a lot of times, believe it or not, I'll go 1,990 because that sounds better than 1,100, which is what it would have been. So I'm I'm willing to take the hundred dollar loss because again we went from six hundred in material to a thousand so you can drop it down so I would say hey Mr Mr or Mrs Client your total investment is going to be one thousand nine hundred ninety dollars if you go ahead and okay my paperwork I can go ahead and get started for you tomorrow fixed contract price with they ask you well how long is that going to take well you say well if we start today we'll hopefully finish by tomorrow if we start tomorrow it should take us a couple of days what does that mean nothing. The only thing it means is that we're not tying our time to money. Do not, do not, do not, do not equal your time to money. And in other words, do not tell someone I'm $125 an hour. I'm $150 an hour unless it's absolutely impossible for you to know how long that job is going to take. Example, mine, three-month job, over $100,000 in billing, aerospace company with equipment that didn't even have any labels. There was no way you're going to bid that on a fixed contract price. Every job, every job you see on my YouTube and Instagram channel, all the way from the million dollar uh, uh, apartment mixed use, $250,000. I didn't even post it yet. We just got a, a, a huge, huge tire store in, in somewhere in the uh, in San Bernardino area. I just got two Starbucks. Uh, we're doing the West Hollywood project. Oh my gosh, we're doing thousands, thousands of jobs, not thousands, hundreds of jobs. Every single one of them were bid fixed contract pricing the same exact way I teach you in coaching. Can you believe it? I don't send my bids to an estimator. And I didn't know what my limit was, guys. I didn't know. My, I say a million dollars. $980,000 is the largest bid I've ever given on one project. And you say, well, oh, a lot of you guys are saying, well, $5 million for me. Hey, guys, I live in Montana, 1,200 miles away. And I'm here at 449, 330 in L.A., 6.30 on the East Coast, doing a YouTube video. Time is worth more than money, okay? I am not complaining. Trust me. $950,000. Did you ever think you're ever going to get a $950,000 project? I never thought so. Now they come and go all the time. I'm in it 18, 19 years. Don't compare my middle to your beginning. And why do I say that? That's a good mentor of mine said. Everybody is at their middle unless they sell or they're dead. Why? My middle was, oh, residential service work. You know, I made it to the top. And then all of a sudden I got into commercial. Well, obviously that wasn't my top. You will constantly be in the middle. You're never going to be at the end unless you're dead or you sell smash like if you like that. So never compare your beginning to my 18, 19 years in the business, you guys. What I'm doing here is to give you that experience so that you can level up instead of taking 19 years to get to where I am. Man, you could do it in two years. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be insane? That's what I'm talking about, okay? Let's take a time out. I want you to click the links down below and go to Jobber and sign up for my trial. Yes, I get credit, but that's not why. We're going to be doing a lot of Jobber videos. We're going to talk about how you get your terms and conditions into Jobber so that you're protected from that customer, that nasty customer. I got a lot of them. I get rid of them now. I don't have any anymore, but I used to have those nasty customers that always used to be pain in my rear. When you are protected with all this legal stuff, I'm not a lawyer. It's a sample. But if you, if you understand what's on my contract, oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, let's get to some questions. All right. What do we got? Roberto, here you are. Perfect. That makes sense. It's an old house without grounding. There you go. That was the, uh, why am I getting shocked in the shower or in the bathroom? Brandon, what's going on? What's your thoughts on buying an electrical business? Currently, I'm a small part-time contractor in the same area. Man, Brandon, I got a lot of advice for you. The first advice I would ask you is how much? Because if it's more, except if you're getting equipment, van, and everything else, you're buying the equity, which is the phone number and the, the residual income because they're established. 
If that's $250,000, ask me how much I put into opening in Montana 10 months ago. 10 months ago, I I opened also in Montana. Yes, I have the Los Angeles business running. I decided because I have nothing else to do, right? Let's open up in Montana. 10 months ago, we are we have three vehicles. We're about to put the fourth vehicle on. I will be honest with you. One vehicle, brand new, paid for. Two vehicles, one two vehicles paying a payment. One vehicle paid for. The second, fourth vehicle is paid for. So I don't have that expense. I got my employees. I probably spent... Besides vehicles, besides some tools, probably less than $10,000 to open in Montana, okay? You spend that on marketing. You spend that on the right stuff. Guys, you see this? Uniforms? This is Montana. Camouflage, I bleed red, white, and blue. They bleed red, white, and blue. Marketing is everything. I got a flag on there because I'm a big patriot, but so are my clients. I wanted to come into this market. I am a marketing machine. Uh, Jay-Z says, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. I don't hire. Oh, what's my saying? Uh, don't pay for leads. Be the lead. That's Mike. I coined that. Okay. I coined that. Don't pay for leads. Be the lead. If you can do that and you're going to pay someone $250,000, that's great. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it. But with coaching with me, fly me down there. I'll get your business set up. You buy a van, you buy three vans, you get your equipment, you get Joe Burnage to do your website. I guarantee you for less than $250,000, you're going to make at least half, if not the same amount of money as that company's probably making this year. I don't know the specifics, but Brandon, I'm not big on debt, brother. If you're going to get in debt, make sure it's smart debt. Don't buy somebody else's business unless you know it, you've worked in it for several years, and now you're taking over. Nothing wrong with that. But buying someone's business cold turkey, it's a big risk. The young electrician, what's going on? Uh, to take the C10 exam, you just need to have the four, four years. So it's the same. Of journeyman level experience, which means that you are able to work independently. All right, awesome. You don't need uh, to be a certified journeyman. Absolutely. You don't even need to take the certification test. You just got to qualify there. Okay, let's take this down. And let's jump over to Instagram. Dylan, what's going on? Curious what your thoughts are on starting up an electrical company, leaving a position, making 200K a year. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're never going to make 200K for like five years. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, that's a tough sell. So Dylan, the way we do that is we start your business while you're at the other position. As long as you can legally do that, it's not a conflict of interest and ethically you're good with it. And what you do is you start your business. You start while you're making 200 grand a year to get your vehicle, to start stocking it, to get your marketing from me, to get your paperwork from me, to do your coursing from me or anybody else you can, okay? Let's get that straight, that you trust. You get your code, you get your license, you get everything. You talk to Joe Burnage, you get ready to flip the switch. That's how I call it. You literally, the best thing in the world is to be working for somebody else. Even my guys, anytime they wanna leave, they know, they know, I'm good, let's do it. I'm all for it. I don't believe in competition, I believe in collaboration. When you're ready to flip that switch, that means you're on, you've got clients, you've got your whale job. Let's talk about that, what a whale job is. And Dylan, you're ready to roll. You are not gonna make $200,000 a year very easily as a one-man, two-man show. You can make 100,000, no problem. I'm not saying you can't make more. It's just physically your time, your, your time is tied to a dollar amount. So one person starting out fresh, trying to work on their business, can't work in their business. So let's set all that up beforehand so that you're the dream team. The dream team is a $200,000 in your pocket business. You, journeyman master, you hire a journeyman master and they have a helper. All they do is follow you around. You do all the sales calls. You do all the emergency calls. We talk about this in coaching all the time. Let's take a time out. Let's answer some questions. I want you guys to go right now and sign up for Jobber. By the way, if you're an electrical contractor, did you go using my link to, to get a quote from Next Insurance? I hope you did. Why do I keep saying those things? Because you don't have to pay me for this information. Next, Jobber and all them sponsors me to tell you this information so that then you go and sign up for things that you already need. What a cool system, right? Let them pay for you and I's education. Is you and I a good word? It's not. Our education. 
Let's help help you help me and let's have the sponsors pay for it. I love Jobber. Obviously, I love Next Insurance. Both my companies are with Next Insurance. The reason I want you to use my links down below is because I do get credit for it, which helps me do this. But if we ever have a seminar or we ever have a group, like I said, how are we going to get our terms and conditions on Jobber? How I use Jobber? How I, what insurance things you need to know? You get to come on board with me and I get to connect with you because you've used my link. Okay. So we're going to take a quick break right now. I'm going to grab a, a, a drink of water. I'm going to go in. Uh, Map Electric, what is up, my friend? One of my coaching clients. Hey, if you've coached with me, put it down in the comments. Let everybody know. I have over 650 of you that have signed up, and I know I've coached over 300 of you. So I know you guys are in here. Say what's up. Give everybody a big shout out. Uh, I took the exam last year. Awesome. So the young electrician, use my link down below. Get your quote from next. You want to make sure your insurance is the best. There's Steve. Steve, where are you? Hi, Jeff from Steve, New York. Is in the house. I know. Why didn't you come on, Steve? Uh, Steve Cavalaris, electricaltime.com. Right there. I don't know where I'm talking. I'm talking right there. Go see Steve. Brandon, uh, PM, already making half what they are. Um, your question was, what are your thoughts on buying an electrical business? Yeah, you're already making half what they are. Yeah, so I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I don't think so. Uh, you're welcome on the insights. Absolutely. You're waiting for the email. Okay, here, I'll send it out. How about we send it out to everybody? Does everybody want to come in? Here, I'm crazy like that. Ooh, I don't know if that's the right one. Steve, I'm going to invite everybody in here. What do you think? Anybody that wants to join, come on board. Steve is going to be here any minute. There you go. I just sent it. Click that and you get to come on board. I have to let you in, but come on. Let's talk. If you're on Instagram, sorry, YouTubers, you already got the link. I'll send it over to Instagram. Here you go. There you go, Instagram. Anybody who wants to come in, thanks everyone for being here. Ask me anything. Okay, Steve, you're coming in first. Let me also know where you guys are tuning in, for, tuning in from. Okay, you getting something out of this? Smash like, and let's keep going. Steve should be popping in here any second now. All right, let's go back to Instagram. Good to see you guys. Dawn, good to see you. Uh, let's see. Gray Sun, good to see you. Uh, Colton, good to see you. Luke, good to see you. All you Instagrammers, awesome. I'm looking for questions. Ryan Jackson is local here in Utah. Absolutely, Colton. Ryan and Steve are good friends. Ryan's been on my podcast twice. I think Steve's been on it four times. Check it out. It, it's the 360 Electrician Podcast. No more on Google. I think it's on YouTube Music now, but it is on my YouTube channel under podcast, Apple Podcast, Amazon Podcast. Um, you can listen to it. Ryan is awesome. Uh, Steve will tell you more about Ryan when he jumps on board. You don't need a journeyman electrician. It's just four years as an electrician. Hey, young electrician, you're on both. Rewire, what's up, dude? Get in here. Francis, get in here, man. Come on, bro. I wonder if I can get you live. Hey, can't I do that? Oh my gosh, I think I can do it. I got to get you in here, bro. You got to talk about your uh, classes. If you're in Philly, I want you to go to RightWire1015 on Instagram. I am going to invite him in right now if I can. I don't know if I can. I honestly don't know how to use it, but I'm going to try. So I'm already live. Now I just opened my app. I'm probably going to screw something up. Let me see. Man. I wish I can get you in here. Use the link. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> it won't let me do it on the uh, on the web. I'm on the website here. So sorry about that. Tell Gia we love her. You got a great woman there, my friend. You, can I know you can't do it. And your kids, oh my gosh, love them, love them. I got a tween now. She's 11, so uh, watch out. I think yours is probably about 10. All right, young electrician to take. Okay, we already got that. Let's go down. Hey, look who's in here. Gem Electric, good to see you. Hey, WNC Sparky joined. What's up? You better check his Instagram. You're talking some seriously great videos. There you go. NME, if you're in here, what's up? Ray 10, good to see you again. I already said what's up to you. Uh, Gem, good to see you, man. Nice hearing you uh, from you, Jeff. Always dropping those nice golden nuggets. I try, brother. I try. You know, I'm not your code guru. That Oh, Steve's there. Let's let Steve in. Steve's your code guru. Steve, how are you? 
Hi, I'm good. <laughs> uh, there was, I go, I'm not your code guru. He's coming in, and there you are. You've been waiting in the shadows. I'm flip-flopping to uh, Instagram really quick. I've, we're, we're live on both, Instagram and on YouTube. So, Steve, you with me? I'm with you. Okay, let's get your banner on here. Where are you? There you are. I'm going to let you have it, Steve. You guys don't know Steve Cavalleras. I told him I'm getting 20 students for him this month. He has a quota to fill this month. He teaches the Mike Halt system, the best of the best. You know it and I know it. It's amazing. My team comes to see Steve every single week. He's got other creators 10 times bigger than me that he teaches. And the private, we can't talk about the private, can we? No, I can't. I can't. I can't disclose my uh, my private students. Okay. I have uh, so, so I have private students. students I can, yeah, I'm I'm privately open. One of your privately open students. He does private lessons with me uh, to coach me on some really really tough jobs that we do. Steve knows me better than pro probably. I'm I'm gonna say it, but my wife's probably listening because we always joke. We probably talk more than we do to our wives. Wasn't that sad? We but we, we always do. talk about code and stuff, Steve. I'm going to give it to you. It's your show. I'm going to take a break and grab a cup of water. Tell everybody okay. what you do. Tell them, give them a special offer, man. I want 20 of you guys watching this to go to electricaltime.com and be in class with me, hopefully this Thursday. But Steve, give them something good. And we got we got Reese Electric that's going to be coming in as well. Go. It's all okay. you. Hey, everybody. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, Jeff, for having me on your show. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, know me, my name is Steve Cavallaris. I'm the chief electrical instructor for electricaltime.com. And what we do is very simple. Uh, once a week, we got three classes now, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We teach the national electrical code. And uh, we use the Mike Holt slides, materials, and videos as part of our course. And I uh, got a lot of great people in our classes. And, uh, you know, we just have a lot of fun talking about the code. So, um, now, Jeff has asked me to do a special offer. I wasn't going to do one, but Jeff put me on the spot, so I got to do it now. All right, so here's the special offer. I, I'm always looking to get free stuff for my subscribers. You know that. All right, well, you, you put me on the spot. I got to comply now. It's like when the okay. police officer pulls you over, you have to comply with the police officer's instructions, right? So, all right, so here's the special offer. Normally, when a student signs up for my courses, there's a $200 initial fee, which, you know, basically covers administration costs and some other licensing. So that's $200. So what I'm going to do is a special offer. My classes are $80 a month, and that's four classes, four classes a, a month. And each class is two hours. Plus, I give you access to the Mike Holt video library, which is just unbelievable. And what I'll do, I got to time you out, Steve. I got to time you out. I got to time you out. Did you guys just hear what he said? Did you guys hear what he said? Now I pay for my guys, of course, so I know it already. You got the initial sign up that you're going to waive, which was it's huge, two hundred bucks for tw yeah for literally twenty dollars. You get a two hour course, and I'm going to tell you right now. I wish we could do a mini uh, course right now. It's like being in class with a code expert. Did you tell them you're a trainer, instructor for the Mike Holt system? You're a master electrician. You're an electrical contractor. You've got six credentials as an electrical inspector with the IAEE. Did you tell them all this, Steve? No, I didn't tell them. Maybe they're not that. understanding. Yeah. Nah, they, I just, but, but you know what? Steve I think, doesn't like talking about himself. Nah. He's the coach of the, he's the, he's the code coach to the code coaches, really. No well, other way to say it. I get phone calls from electrical inspectors when they get stuck. And, you know, because I have a relationship with them, I'll take time out of my day to do the code research to help out the inspectors. Also, the my students, too. When they get stuck, they give me a call. Hey, Steve, what do I do? I'm, the, the inspector just failed me. Wait a minute. Let me get my code book. Let me see if the inspector's right or wrong. So I do that for free. But, you know, don't, don't abuse it. Um, okay, so here's the offer. It's usually $200, right, to sign up. But... If you pay for three months up front, right, that's $240, you'll get the three months, and I'll waive the, the additional $200 sign-up fee. How is that, Jeff? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I'm a little upset because I paid the fee twice already, This probably last month. So I'm a little well, upset, but it's worth I, I every that penny. That's why I'm not upset. I knew that people <laughs> were going to get upset, but I have a quota that I have to hit with Mike mm -hmm. Holt. 
So I got to do what I got to do to get more students. And, you know, as we get more and more students, I'll probably do something, you know, for uh, my existing students, you know, later down the road. Right. So that's right. the offer. So to get so, on the classes, just go to my website, electricaltime.com. I've got a button. Right. It's called uh, the live NEC code classes. It's the first button. Just click on that. And then you'll send me an email. I'll get back to you. Then I'll get you into a class for free so you can check out the class. No course or obligation because I want to make sure that it's right for you. All right? That's that's the offer, Jeff. Okay. I love it. Okay. I've got a couple of code questions coming in. Oh, Nothing boy. too crazy and some of it not. Can can I um, offer something, Jeff? Yes. Okay. And uh, you and I have been talking about um, – standby stationary standby batteries right yes um battery evo that's the battery that evo we're, we're right battery evo yes. uh -huh. so I, i've uh -huh. been doing the research on them and i gotta tell you i think they've got a phenomenal phenomenal product it's out amazing there. can you imagine battery electrical contractors out there that are like i don't have a lot of work or they're just resi contractors right i, I re there's nothing wrong with just being a residential electrical contractor that's me. But imagine now getting the battery Evo on a line item. So now you don't have to deal with all the other trades, concrete, plumber, more inspections from other trades, blah, 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 money, 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 money. Forget it. You get the, you get the walrus, you get the Arctic, you got some of the new ones coming out. Phenomenal. Add 12 solar panels to it. It's not hard to do a ground mount if you want to. Amazing. Yeah. By the way, we have BP Reese in the, in the video chat. You got to turn on your camera. I can't get you in. Okay. I'm going to give you a quick second. BP. Turn on your camera so I can let you in. I know you're in the waiting room. Uh, otherwise, I got to get you out. Anybody else coming in, use that link I already did. Map, I, uh, Mappy, I wish you were in here. Uh, Steve, on the – oh, there he is. Let's let BP in. There he is. Hey. B Reese, is it Reese? Reese, why do you look familiar? Have we done coaching? No. <laughs> I, I look like everybody. Right? No. <laughs> no. No. I just signed you it. I like just uh, subscribed. You, you look like me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You did. Awesome, man. Good to have you. Looks like you're driving home. We don't want you crashing. But you got Steve Cavalera uh, here, who's the code expert. And I wouldn't call myself the business guru or expert or anything like that. I, you know, I mean, you can, but I won't. But hey, man, you're on live, brother. The world is, the world now knows you. Tell us where you're tuning in from. Tell us if you're an electrical contractor. Tell us something about you. Yeah, I'm out of, uh, Central Texas. I'm actually on my way to a service call right now. So, like, I, I saw this pop up. So, I clicked on the YouTube. I'm just driving and listening. I so, love it. I love see, it. So are you an electrical contractor? Yeah, I'm an electrical uh, contractor. Just got into it um, going it. up to the second year now. See, this nice. is the real deal, Texas Jeff. is booming. Yeah. You know, we have an electrical contractor. Go ahead. Steve. He's driving. He's live with us. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Super. You know, we love to live on the edge here. What can I say? We're electricians. We, we deal with the, with high voltage all the time. I say high voltage and then the linemen get really mad at me. So I'm going to, I'm not going to say that anymore to piss them off, but Hey, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's very cool, man. And so, um, how much are you charging an hour? Uh, Around a hundred, so seventy-five to a hundred. Uh, I like the idea that you're giving on it. I kind of like. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm a people person, so I try to work with with customers, but I also have to realize okay. I have to feed my family and uh, try to expand and stuff. So I'm still getting into learning how to really price jobs the best way. All right. Absolutely. I got to send you out a coupon for coaching. You got to get your pricing right. I can tell you right now, I've done this hundreds of times. You're lower than the nas national average. Uh, minimum, 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 minimum. Always think about it because I want to teach you when I coach you, I don't just preach and teach. I actually show you. So let's just say you're supposed to be 100, but you're charging even 80 or 90. There's two places, Reese, where we lose money. Only two places we can take money. That's out of you, the Reese Bezos. You're the Reese Bezos of the company, correct? You own it. So yeah. you can control the money you get and you can control the money your business gets. Paying me as a journeyman? Nope, you got to pay me. Uncle Sam, you got to pay. You got to pay rent. You got to pay your insurance. You got to pay your card. 
car payment. The only two yeah. places that you have control is you and your business. So if you're supposed to be charging 100 and you charge 80, you owe me $20 an hour. That's going to be $10 from your pocket and $10 from your business. And that's what we talk about in coaching. So even in a 30 second call, I can tell you, raise your prices to 100. And th that also does something else. It now allows you to figure out the math super easy on your daily labor rates. 800 bucks for a one man show, 800. How much for three? Three days, 2,400. 16, you know, eight, eight and eight, 2,400. That way, when you're on a job and you go, yeah, this is a two and a half day job for me, you automatically know that your, your labor rate's 2,400. You figure that out in five minutes. Then you move on to pricing the material, which isn't that hard, I'm sure, for you. But then it's about loving the client, giving them value, and selling the job. Anyway, mini coaching session for you, brother. All right. Now, check this out. So Jeff and I are going to be doing uh, some videos about Battery Evo. And that's a stationary uh, standby battery system. And, you know, Jeff, there's an yes. article in the NEC, and that's this book here, my favorite book, The National Electrical <laughs> Code. You know, right. If, if I, anybody I, watches I, well, I, thought your, I thought the Bible was your favorite book, Steve. Well, it, we, we need to, it depends. On Sunday, yes. On Sunday, <laughs> yes. Definitely. But I can't say how many times I'm walking around with this book, and my wife is like, you carrying that book again? I said, yes, I am. So when we're looking at these battery storage systems, we'll be looking at Article 480. And I have the 2023 code cycle. Now, okay. we're all familiar about that emergency service disconnect. That's 230.85 for one and two family dwellings. And that's the firefighter safety switch, right? So when the firefighters go there, we have to be able to give them a way to shut the power off for the house. Now, guess what? We got this other power source that's inside the house, right? This battery system. We also yep. have to supply an emergency disconnect to that. And that's going to mm -hmm. be found in 480.7B, emergency disconnects. And the same rules apply. One and two family dwellings, the disconnecting means or its remote control for a stationary standby battery shall be located at a readily accessible location outside of the building for emergency use. And the disconnect shall be labeled. And it's got some, you know, labeling requirements. So could you imagine? You know, the firefighters go to a house and they shut the emergency service disconnect outside. Then the battery is now powering up the house as an emergency backup. And the house is now still energized. Mm -hmm. So um, yep. I found out that very few electricians actually knew about that rule until I started talking about it. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that when mm. we have that one or two family dwelling, that when we shut the power off to the house, that we're really shutting off the power to the house. And I hope that little co-tip uh, goes a long way out there for our viewers. Absolutely. Super important when we're doing batteries. By the way, Reese, I know you're driving, so don't feel like you're obligated to stay in here. Uh, I appreciate you coming in. We wanted to get you on, but I'll let you go. I know you got to drive, but still tune in. But I appreciate you coming on, all right? Reach out anytime. Just say, Jeff, it's Reese from the live stream in Texas. I will not forget you. All right. Thank you, uh, Jeff. And, uh, nice uh, speaking to you. Thanks. Thanks, brother. Anytime. Yeah, Steve, that's going to be super important because, you know, the battery usually is probably going to end up where the sub panel is sometimes because, you know, the, it's not outdoor rated. So there is going to be some electrical work that definitely needs to get done. But that's why sure. we level up with you. That's why we love up. Steve, a, a second part of this uh, whole going live, which uh, I don't have a lot of time because I know my wife's making dinner, is uh, Mega Pro. You guys remember Mega Pro? Did anybody know Mega Pro here? I'm doing that to get rid of the glare. You ever heard of Mega Pro, Steve? I've never heard of them. When I first became an electrical contractor, Mega Pro is a screwdriver. I have another kit. I should have brought it. It's got all the bits in the tip. They were they they were the first people to put these tips like this, and the back spins and the front spins, and it's a multi bit set. Here's the cool part. This one here comes with the security bits. This one here is like maybe the micro size and, or the micro size and the regular size. This is their 30th anniversary kit. Big shout out to Mega Pro for sending me this out. Um, I sent them an email about their, they also licensed the Dottie and a couple other people. So Mega Pro is a cool one. We were going to talk about tools on this one, but my up down camera is not working. Actually, I turned it on an accident. I was also going to talk about the Klein tools, which, aha, Steve, you know what this is from Klein tools? 
I know the I'll box says Klein Tools. Um, it's my um, torque. Um, torquing screwdriver from Klein Tools. Oh, your torquing screwdriver. And there might be some can, electrician. Can you tell me about hey. torquing? You, you know, I'm a I'm a handyman, and I've never heard of uh, torquing. I don't think that's a code. I think you're. I think you guys are all crazy. You Is know that what, true, Steve? No, it's not. It's actually code. It's actually required. Um, you know, we went but, through. But if I'm a handyman, if I'm a handyman, I said I'm a handyman. Come on, that's not what's code. You know, you're, you're not speaking. You're not speaking my language now. You know what the Tell talking screw, it. the talking screwdrivers and and the wrenches, they're so uh -huh. important because yep. one of the number one reasons for an electrical fire is when we have these connections and they're not they're not too tight, right? They're not to torque. Right. And then we get this little bit of arcing. We have heat that builds up at the terminal connection. And, <clears throat> and if we don't have an AFCI breaker, right, which is mm -hmm. required under 210.12, that breaker is just going to stay on nice and happy. It's going to heat up the wires. It's going to heat everything up. It's going to melt the insulation. And then after that, you got the, re the perfect recipe to start a fire. Absolutely. So the torquing screwdrivers in collaboration S with somebody, AFCI. I don't know if it was somebody on Instagram, and my Instagram's frozen. I think WNC Electric, somebody recently, wasn't the plug. One of our friends on Instagram just showed that same exact thing. It was a neutral. Oh, my guy just had a service call today. And he called me up and we had a drop neutral. It wasn't a drop neutral. It was burned under a terminal. That wasn't torqued. Okay. What do you think? Weha sent us a really nice insulated set right there. Look at that. Wow. Thank you, that Weha. Really yeah, nice. so we're talking about new sponsors. So as far as new sponsors for the channel goes, um, some sponsorship, you know, I don't tell my sponsorship secret, uh, Steve, to anybody. But if you're watching this channel... I, I usually only want to get sponsors that are going to give value to you guys. Um, sometimes I don't get paid or I shouldn't even call them sponsors. Or, you know, a lot of people say, well, if they paid me or they did this. Once in a while, I get free tools. But by the way, um, I wish I could show it. Hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna put you on pause for two seconds. So, Jeff, while we're on pause, um, the thing that Jeff and I have spoken about many times, you know, before we endorse any product, we have to believe in it. because it's so important to have good products and good services, you know, so there might be a company that might come to yeah. us and say, Hey, we want you to sponsor our product, but we might say, no, I'm sorry. We, we're not going to sponsor you. Um, right. But if it's a Absolutely. good product, I'm going to get you guys questions. I think we got another one here. Code question regarding discos for commercial water heaters. Can you say, uh, satisfy that requirement by leaving the breaker in a lockable position? If, it is the same room and within line of sight. Okay. So, so a switch could be a disconnect means. Well, uh, the first question we're going to ask ourselves is what article are we talking about here? Right? What's article? And I think that's going to be article, I think, 422. 422. No, is that right? Yeah, 422. And that's called appliances. Mm -hmm. And even then though it's commercial. There, well, it, it it doesn't matter. You know, the, right. the, the requirement here talks about the code the doesn't know of, the difference. The number of gallons. Yeah, the code doesn't know the difference. Right. The number uh -huh. of gallons. Sorry, go ahead. And uh -huh. you know, based on the number of gallons, it's going to tell us whether we have to size that brand circuit to 125% or not. All right, because that water heater is going to be on. If it's an electric water heater, it's going to be on for a long time, mm -hmm, you know, especially mm -hmm. as the people are using the water. Okay, so we're going to be looking at part three, disconnecting means. And, you know, we have to look at the voltage, at the VA. All right, so there's not enough information in the question um, to really specify a, a good answer for you. But generally speaking, you know, we got to have that disconnecting means right there, right? And okay. usually when, when I install a, a water heater, right, I'm going to put that disconnect right there, right next to the water heater so we can shut that off. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, and you have to put that disconnect somewhere else, I mean, this is a general thing for the code. 
you have to make sure that it's lockable in the open position. And I think that's going to be 110.25, I think. So we just have to make it safe. And what I would do, I'd go a step further. You know, I'd put a little note there, you know, by the water heater saying, oh, listen, you know, the disconnecting means is in the other room. You know, let, let the poor electrician or the poor plumber know where the disconnect is, right? Don't leave them hanging. So I think that's my, so, my best advice on that question. Right. So he did follow up with, it's 120 gallon, 80 amp circuit. So it's a big boy, 208 volt. Mm -hmm. So that means it's three phase. Um, and so if it's, the question was, if it's in the same room and within line of sight, can you satisfy that requirement by leaving the breaker in a lockable position? Yes. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, leaving yeah. it, making sure that that disconnect is lockable is always right. a good That's, thing. Right. Always a good thing. Right. Because you're putting that right. extra protection because let's say you're working on the water heater and then you leave it for five minutes and then your journeyman comes back and says, oh, that's off. I'm going to turn it back on. Now you come back to start working on the water heater and you get Bam. shocked. That's not a yeah. good thing. Yeah. All right. Great. That's question. why I do. That's why I, I also help apprentices and tell apprentices what they need to learn before they become electricians. All right. Well, you Hector, see, Jeff, how Hector, I went through that? You. I looked at the uh -huh. question and I asked myself a question, right? The first question, this is what I want everyone to do. And this is what I teach in my class. What article is this about, right? If you don't know the article, then I'm sorry. Then, you know, you, you really got to memorize those articles. And I'm going to do a little qu quick tip here. Check this out. Uh, Matt, I write down asks, the name of the, oh, you still there? Oh, yep, sorry. Matt and then on asks, the other side, I write down the article you? number. And I use that and it helps me to memorize the articles. Very nice and easy. All right. Sorry. Uh, Mappy asked what time the classes are. They're not live. Oh, they are live, but they're they not live on. Yeah, they're live. They're not live on YouTube. Right. My, right. They're my, not live my on class YouTube. Tonight, and so I told them to go, go to electricaltime.com. Yep. Yeah, go just go, go to my website, electricaltime.com. And the first button, click on that. And um, basically, you're going to send me an email. I'll get back to you. And then I'll invite you into one of the classes for next week. You can check it out for free, of course. No cost, no obligation. You can see if you like it. And if you like it, great. Who's not going to like it, Steve? Who's not going to like it? Plumbers. <laughs> Those are the only plumbers. people that aren't going to like it. No, the plumbers, right. they're, the, they're the ones who cut our cables, right? Oh, no, we didn't We didn't right. do anything. We didn't cut your cables. No, we didn't do that. And the sheet rockers, oh, no, we didn't, we didn't put screws inside your cables. Oh, no, we didn't cover up. A four gang switch box? No, no, we didn't do that. You know, right? I went into I went right. into we were doing a a, a big house. Uh, I think it was like a six thousand square foot house. I go into the bedroom uh -huh. after the sheet rockers were done, and I'm looking around for the switch box, four gang switch box. It wasn't there, but I knew basically Gee. where it was supposed to be. Uh -huh. So what I did is I took a level and I and I rocked it. So there was a little bit of a bump out. I said, "Here's my, you know." Here's my switch box, and I started poking it, and I got it cut out. So I can't tell you how many times the sheet rockers cover up our boxes, how many times they put screws in our wires, how many times the plumbers and the carpenters yeah. cut our wires. And you know what, Jeff? In your documentation, when when the when the co electrical contractors are writing up that contract, you know mm -hmm. there should be something in there that says, "Hey, listen, if damage is caused by others." The homeowner or the business owner is responsible. Let them collect from the sheet rockers. Yep. Right? Yep. I also okay. have a, a writing in there that says if a box is buried, additional will apply. Box is unpullable. If it's in conduit and, and somebody crushed it, it's unpullable. At, when I come back, for, it, it will. All that's actually on the front because it's the two most popular things, right? Buried junction right. boxes. And it, I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. And by the way, I sell about three of these every single week. So imagine how many people out there need paperwork. And then people accuse me of just being trying to sell something. Are you kidding? I'm selling I'm selling you a freedom from a lawsuit that's going to cost you $100,000. Uh, you know, again. Now, now, now Jeff, I'm just going to make a quick comment. I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to make a quick comment before you read that. Could you imagine, yes. let's say the sheet rockers are putting screws into your cables. They use like two or three inch screws for whatever reason. And now you got to spend like a week to fix things and you're making holes 
in the walls. Who's yeah. going to pay you yeah. for that time? The homeowner's going to say, listen, you messed up. No, but we proved that the sheetrockers put screws in our cables. Now they say, oh, no, you go after the sheetrockers. I don't want no right. nothing to do with that. Right. Yeah. So Absolutely. by putting that in the I contract, also have something in here. How many times has it happened where you go to a job and you're done with the job? You want to get paid. You, you've got rough. You've got final. But they didn't get occupancy or they're not done with. So they hold your money. So no, what? No, 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 no. My money gets paid whether I'm whether your other trades are done or not. I'm independent, and it's in here. And by the way, what? How, how many times have you gone to a customer's house? You did the work, and then you turn around, and they're gone. Where's where'd the client go? Hell, where are you? Oh, I had to run and pick up my thing. Oh, just come back tomorrow, and I'll get you a check. Oh yeah, I will. It's an additional two ninety nine service call for me to come back to get, pick up the check. Oh my gosh, everybody watching this right now is like Jeff. Where do you think about these things? Experience, been there, done that. So, Steve, let me read it to you. Right there, on the very front of my contract as soon as they sign. In the event of existing crushed or unpullable conduit or hidden junction boxes, an additional charge will apply. I'm gonna. I'm not even going to read the rest because I'll be giving away a big secret, but right there. pick. Give me a number, one through eight. Uh, five. Five, my lucky number. Notice to owner, mechanics lean. I, uh, it's, it's the mechanics lien to preserve their rights to file a claim. So mechanics lien, and in other words, every state has it. If you are the subcontractor to a contractor, so you're working for a contractor. If you do not give the client that you're actually working for and doing work on the house, a preliminary notice and your contractor does not pay you, you cannot, you cannot put a lien on that house. Here is what I give the homeowner. And I say, I have a contract with the main, I have a sub contract with the main contractor they sign it they've got their preliminary no notice give me another number i got a better uh, seven one this is my next lucky number seven general contractors what do you know what do you know if this proposal is for subcontracting work by a general contractor said contractor must supply 360 electric the name address and contact number of the uh, of the customer within 10 days of starting work. You know why it's 10 days, Steve? No. We have thir 30 days to give a preliminary notice to a client after uh -huh. we start. And so within 10 days, they must supply me all the main client's information. Otherwise, what's the penalty for that? Let me see what it says. Yep. It's the sole purpose of providing a customer. Oh, it's a 20-day preliminary notice, not a 30-day. And, oh, and if the contractor does not uh, uh, provide such paperwork, all uh, legally collectible fees, dues will be uh, will be paid by the uh, by the uh, general contractor or contractor to whom 360 Electric has signed. That's it. So I got everything in here, but that's not it. This is this is my second piece of paper, by the way. You know what else you get? You know what else you get? You get the field over paper. Look how much that has on it. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Now, Jeff, how can, how can the viewers get your paperwork? What do they That's have on the to website, www.the360electrician.com. And they should sign up for the email list because uh, that's also going to help them level up. All right. I, I think I got kicked out of uh, uh, Instagram a long time ago. I'm going to wrap this up. This thing is amazing. I wanted to give, I want you to give me another number, but it's okay. We'll do it next time. Steve, I know you got to get to class. I can't wait. Class. 20 of you guys better sign up for electricaltime.com. No, I'm only, only going to do. I'm only going to have this offer until the end of April. After end that, April. that's a long time. Is, right, because I can't, I can't keep do on it. giving this away. Now, when are you going to start 2023 code cycle? I, I've already started that. Uh, actually, we're going to be covering Article 300 tonight. Wow. Uh, what a great time. Tonight. You can email Steve tonight. right now. you got about uh, one hour, right? No? Can't do it. Uh, it's okay. about an hour and a half from now. So mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll check my email in about an hour. But make sure when you put that email that you give me a phone number, right? I'll give you a call back and I'll see how many of the people I can get into tonight's class from nine you to 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, New York time. Do it. Do it. You won't be disappointed. And usually you'll see me Thursday uh, because it's uh, I'm in a mountain. But when oh, I'm leaving L.A. next week. So I'll be on your uh, I'll be on your Pacific time as well. Hopefully again, I'll. Uh, the, the yep. most important thing when you're looking at a, at, at a real job or you're looking at an exam question, ask yourself mm -hmm. the question, what article is this about? Period. Okay. And then you won't right. go wrong. You're
you all know I'm in with Klein Tools, and everybody accuses cool. me of getting everything free from Klein. So here, here's my receipt from Lowe's. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Let me get my face out of there. Here's my receipt from Lowe's. Can you see anything? Can you see all the Klein in there? There you see Modbox at the bottom parts. You see Modbox? All Modbox, the 15 set. I see the Modbox, yeah. The yeah. safety glasses right there, $8.99. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's the safety glasses, Modbox. All my and, mod box, mod and box, this, and this, and you bought my, that on March twenty second. You know what March twenty second was? Uh, your birthday. Nope. What was it? It was the day that Tony Orlando and Dawn performed their last concert at the Mohegan Sun you're, you're uh, Casino Resort in Connecticut. We're we're done. That's you just lost <laughs> half of us. Today. So guys, when I talk to you about tools and when I talk to you about sponsors, when I, I I don't need their money. I don't need their tools. I give you stuff that I believe in that I use. I spent 200 and this was last week, March 22nd. Well, week before last. It was it March 22nd? I don't know. It's been sitting on my floor. I've been so busy. I don't know what I did my glasses. I spent $242.55 on Klein tools. Okay. So sometimes I buy it. Sometimes I don't. That's just the way it goes. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, Steve. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow night in class. Thank you. Smash like. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Talk to you soon.